Hello everyone. Today I will introduce a very useful download tool. It's ARIA tool. Don't close this video. I know. I know someone else has already introduced the ARIA tool, but this one is improved. That's why it's called ARIA tool Pro. And why you need it? It integrates a lot of useful functions. For example, on OpenWRT, if you reboot your router, ARIA2 will lose its tasks. This can resume download tasks after restart. This can guide and update BT trackers automatically. The most amazing thing is it can upload your downloaded files to cloud drive automatically and many other useful functions. If you want more information about it, you can visit this website. This page is Chinese, so I don't think you want it. The ARA2 Pro is built in Docker, so as long as your computer can run Docker, you can use it. Today, I will show you how to set it up in Synology, which is a NAS system. Of course, you can run it by Docker command. This. Okay, let's start. First of all, sorry for my bad English. English is not my native language. So, you know, just follow this video. First, step one, open your Docker and uh, registry. Search ARIA2. Search. Find the ARIA2 Pro. ARIA2 Pro. This one, this one. And uh, dub, double click, select, select. Um, okay, let's um, create two folder. ARIA2. Okay, one named config, config, one named downloads, okay, nice to step. It's downloading. It's downloading. So let's wait. Okay, it has already downloaded. Now let's launch it. Advanced setting. Switch to volume. Add folder. And choose the config folder. And amount pass root config. And another is downloads. And the mount path is gone. Root downloads. Okay, let's switch to part setting. The, there is uh, no need to change it, but let's make it uh, stable. Same as container port. Okay, let's switch to environment. Okay, let's add variable. The first is the PRC script, which connection to our ARIA2 password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
All right, you can change it to your mind. All right, okay, that's another. This are clone. It's uh, a the ARA to upload the downloaded files to cloud drive. So enable, okay. Which uh, this update and get uh, bit trackers automatically. Automatically, yeah. Okay, that's yes. Okay, that's a play. Apply or next apply. If if you run it by Docker command, there's a, there is no need to to deploy it. Uh, for me, I sh need it. So let's let's show the content. Okay, it's uh, let's get more information about it. Let's switch to log. Okay, it's downloading, it's installing R clone. Now let's uh, talk about R clone. This will upload the download file to Cloud Drive, and uh, you can download it uh, from this website man is a uh, mic so I choose this now I have already downloaded our clone is a web a web browser to deploy <coughs> to deploy it sorry so we need to uh, deploy it on our host Okay, let's execute our clone. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Let's cd to it. cd to the folder. Okay, and then execute our clone. C-O-N-E. Okay, get. R clone one drive. Okay, return. Now it succeed. It's already succeed. Get the access token. Let's copy it and save it. We will use it after a little. Okay, let's get them. Oh, still installing. Installing, installing. Let's wait. Okay, it's already done. Now let's open ARIA2 DOM ME. It's a web UI to manage ARIA2. Mm, let's uh, deploy the ARA2 connection info. Switch to RPC. This is our. Uh, this is Docker IP. Okay. And this is the RPC script, which is our setting. I will close it. And uh, now, as you see, it has already connect. Okay, next step, we will deploy our clone. Create a new bash with bash. Okay, our clone. And uh, return? No, 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 no. 
오케이 스타 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 아 그럼 컴퓨터 그럼 나 뺐지 오케이 a new remote n type n and return a name is one drive read read only all right all day oh yeah yeah I have already con deployed it so let's uh, delete it eight delete 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 it eight okay actions delete it okay okay have one drop uh, return hmm let's restart our clone config n type n non remote and the name is one drop and uh, let's choose the 23 of course you can choose an another empty empty and return empty and return advanced config no out config no and the result now let's uh, open the access token copy it and uh, paste it now return okay select the one oh select the zero return is that okay yes why type y and return type one and then return okay let's quit it's done but 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 we need to uh, edit the sorry let's cd to config folder and the list let's edit auto upload dot sh Now we change the name to one drive. Of course you can you can name it one drive when config when deploy the R clone and this folder to is the folder in our one drive. I name it R clone. Okay. Let's, let's exit. Exit. WQ and return. Okay, reboot. Okay, wait, 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 just wait. Minutes, a few minutes. Okay, now, oh, still, still wait. Refresh it, refresh, 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 refresh. It has started. Now, let's download a test files file and download. Let's wait. If it succeed, succeeds, our R clone folder will have this file. But now it's empty, so let's wait.
Okay, it's done. No, let's check it. Let's check our one one drive. No, you can you can see the download video has uh, uploaded it to our R clone files. R clone, yeah, yeah, our um, you know one drive, and that's the log file. Sorry for my bad network. But it works. Okay. If you have some problems about this video, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye bye.